Long, long ago, this world once belonged to us, the humans. We were the rulers and masters of this land in this era of prosperity. But then, on one fateful day, everything changed. From the high heavens descended an unspeakable evil, a creature, a monster. He proclaimed himself as Omnicron, the king of the Nexamon. This wicked behemoth threatened to engulf our humanity into darkness. With one shattering roar, an eternal war between humans and Nexamon began. Over centuries of violence, humans learned how to tame and befriend the Nexamon and use them to fight against Omnicron himself. Then, in the midst of a dark age, one brave human warrior rose against all odds. And with the help of his Nexamon companions, he defeated Omnicron. The war ended, and centuries later, we live in a peaceful world along with our Nexamon friends. For Omnicron's darkness was forever destroyed. Or so we thought. I've been working, working out, that's why I don't really post anymore. I'm gonna post whenever, you know, whenever I feel like it. But now that the prequel to Next My Extinction, I played this game already on the phone, but I decided why not do it again, but this time put it on YouTube for you guys. So, now we're playing again. So, I'm the This is the end of your journey, champion of mankind. My ascension was set in motion millennia before you were ever born into this petty land. I don't even think I'm gonna do that voice all the time. Uh, none may overcome Omnicron, the almighty king of monsters. Maybe I will. On this fateful day, my kind will arise from the ashes of your world. Technically, they did. Now be gone. Where? Where have you sent me? Let me get some water. Our story begins with a young and normal human child. Little does he know, his life is about to change very, very soon. I'm about to hit puberty. Come on. You, you would think that, like, you know, if the house was rumbling and all, that... Oh, yeah. Let me wake up. Let me not fall asleep through that. I don't know. That's just me. First. This. Uh, no, where am I? Oh, okay. Lower that. There we go. Actually, no, we're going to turn the music off. Because that's... No, we got to have some music. Boom. Because... Honestly, that was just loud, so I'm gonna lower it. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's gonna have all the old, uh... Nexmon, 
uh, traps where you have to save your money for the gold and the capture rates are going to be very uh, low. Damn. Ooh, it's so good seeing this guy again. But at the same time, not. Father, the device performing marvelously, sir. Oh. It is most certainly ready for distribution, shall we? I will be the judge of that. Show it to me now. Absolutely. Please follow me. <laughs> Mom's just chilling right there like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I'm not going to do a woman's voice because I'm not that good at that. Oh my, did the noise wake you up, my dear? Okay, there's nothing to be concerned about. We are merely performing... Further tests on our latest invention. Okay. I want to know what that invention is, though. That reminds me, I believe Ellie was looking for you. Okay. Why don't you go out and find her? Probably wants to show a new toy. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Let's go meet Ellie. God, I miss her, too. There she is. Ah, the team rocket of this game. Stay away from us, you can't take Atlas, he's not yours. Oh, Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that robot. Atlas, use kill mode. You'd think that, like, you know, she programmed Atlas with a, a self-defense mode to protect himself. But, nah. him come on drop the next trap oh yeah now we get our starter well it's gonna be mine now dude oh, what the heck was that Okay, what is that dumb robot of yours going to do? Bam! See you in the next country. Look at that little dot just going. <laughs> Quick, we must rescue the next one. I don't know why the music is still playing now. He's not even here anymore. So, I've been thinking about this. Because when I... When I first played this game, I had Fethra. But, uh, I want to go a different route and not do him. Nor pick, well, Velo Kitty, you can, you, you can catch all of them in the wild. Velo Kitty, you actually find very, very recent, like very soon. But for now, for me, it's going to be between Sprunk, Bevy, and, uh, Blizzo. Uh, damn. See, this is like the hardest part of picking the sorry because they give you so many. If it was three, I feel like it'd be it'd be ten times easier for me because then I could just pick right away as opposed to now I have to really decide. Hmm. I might regret this, but then I might not. Bevy. Yeah, you're gonna just wait. Attack 127. So what is your? Do they help? No. 124. So your defense is higher. What about you? Your speed. Ha oh, your attack is pretty high. Your speed. Uh -huh. What about the lazy? You have good speed. Okay. So now I'm gonna narrow it down to Bevy and Valazi. It's like creating a character. It's evil. And like I said, you can find them all in the wild anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, actually no, it does matter. Because then, it, whoever you start with, that's your automatic partner. Whether you can find them in the wild or not. Uh, I'm also going to do another series on this, like a Nuzlocke. I also have to do one for the other game. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, Blazy, Bevy, Blazy... All right, Bevy it is. Boom. 
Hey, first trophy. And he's back. Oh no, that I forgot. <laughs> I can do a few on my own. You mean the next one that you possibly stole? I love how they gave us the option to, you know, pick a next mom when we we definitely could have taken all of them. So I wonder where the other next mom go. Ooh. All right. Let's do that. Ah, the good old mechanics. This should be a very easy battle. And I mean very easy. Booyah. You're rat upon stood no chance against Bevy. Bring uh much of a card. Bring the it in here. Are you kidding me? Yep. Alright, I am kidding you. Just faints. <laughs> That's great. Another trophy for the first battle. All right, that's right. I should introduce you to my laser engine. Yep, Atlas. Okay, you're gonna love him. Yep, I know I'm gonna love him because I loved him in the other game. There's the big man. What do we have here? The Nexo Lord. Him and his elf ears. The greatest Nexomon tamer in the world. And you are? Well, I don't think that matters, does it? I can keep track of all the weaklings in this pathetic place. Is that your Nexomon kid? It doesn't belong to you, does it? Perhaps you think you are worthy of using a Nexomon. Do you have what it takes to be a true tamer? Come on, kid. Show me what you can do. Gee, like, the power that he had. Has. Hm. You had the guts to steal from me, but now you're frightened. Keep the next one, brat. Let it forever serve as a shameful reminder of how weak you are. Now, out of my way. Get up, fool. Just kick some. Like, oh. Y y yes, my lord. Just runs. <laughs> Farewell, kids. You better pray that we don't cross paths ever again. Honestly, I loved the next lord in this game. I wish they brought him back in Extinction. Because that would have been nice. They, But, you know, it is what it is. Huh? What a nice gentleman. Well, says you, Atlas. Ugh, what is wrong with him? He's obviously planning something evil. Didn't you notice anything weird about him? Yeah, that he has, uh... Inhuman powers and elf ears? Like making the ground explode? He's here all the time. It must be because of the secret machine your parents are building. Maybe. Maybe we can follow him. Are you crazy? Follow that guy? Come on. This isn't a video game. Soon you will know. Hey, this could be important. We should go. I think you're supposed to be smart. The smart. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak. It's been a long week. <laughs> the smart character in this story. Well, besides the smart idea, then, we should get another next one. I agree. What? That way, we won't have anything to fear while following the next lord. I'm sure Atlas can teach you how to capture an Exomon. I guess I owe you one for saving me. Alright, follow me when you're ready. Go ahead, you'll al you always wanted to learn how about Nexomon anyway. I'll catch up to you later. Ugh, I really can't speak, guys. So. It's gonna be a very short episode. I'm going to end it here because uh, I have a lot of stuff going on on the outside that I don't want, to, like, you know, construction-wise, I don't want to annoy you guys. And 
well, the beginning of the episode. I want you guys to see from beginning to now. Thank you all for watching episode one and get ready for episode two coming very shortly, probably on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>